the majority of the state is experiencing some level of drought and with that could come a plethora of negative impacts. And that kind of led to a lot of impacts, including stream flow, uh, water levels in our rivers and streams are, are low across much of the state. Uh, we have seen a little bit of recharge with that um, due to some precipitation we got in August, which was super beneficial. Uh, but since September began, um, it's been pretty dry again. So much of those impacts are kind of baked uh, with widespread agricultural impacts across the state, you know, crop losses, hay shortages. Some reservoir levels are critically low for this time of year, which has forced irrigators to cut down on usage or eliminate it entirely. Water temperatures have gotten too warm for the cold water fish often found in Montana, and natural watering holes have dried up. Uh, wildlife impacts might be similar to what ranchers face with forage. So uh, with very little vegetation growing, um, or it died off a lot sooner, um, wildlife might have trouble finding um, uh, you know, green vegetation to to feed themselves. For everyday usage, the canals on the rivers have changed, making it hard for some to canoe or kayak down rivers. This is Newfoundland dog, <laughs> kind of went with Lewis and Clark to the Pacific, and she sure loves the water, and it hurts her when the water's low because it can't find a place to stick enough to swim. Billings is on track for one of the driest Septembers on record. In Billings, Brandon Warren, MTN News.